welcome. My name is Danielle. This is Daniela Diaries, and today we have a full day of eating high carb. So currently right now, I've talked about this, I think, quite a bit, but I am on a 12-week like mini cut, basically to kind of lean out, see what I look like, and this was kind of my like subtle way of seeing like if I wanted to competitively train and go into like a straight prep. I'm gonna tell you right now, it ain't for me. It ain't for me. This 12 week cut isn't too bad, but I like the lifestyle approach better than like this competitive approach. So um, yeah, um, today is gonna be high carb. So basically what we're doing is Monday through Friday is low carb, which you guys seen, and the weekends is my high carb days. Um, each week I check in and I could show you yesterday's photos because I showed you guys last time we were here. I showed you. Um, it was kind of crazy because I had to like take a video and I had to have Rhea help or I had just get a screenshot because Rhea is out of town right now. So that was me yesterday morning and I weighed in at 177.6. I actually weighed in this morning. Um, I'm always lighter on Saturdays because I'm a little swollen from Thursday's leg day. I weighed in this morning at, I think, 176.8. So um, weight is ticking down. Goal weight, I don't have a goal weight. I don't give a shit about what the scale says. But we just kind of like to follow it. And since I am in a cut, I, you know, the goal is always to like kind of see the scale drop and to see the lean muscle come out. But anyways, I look forward to my high carb days because I love me some carbohydrates. And today we are, we get a little extra, the meals are set up a little bit differently. So today's Saturday, the girls, so Rhea is out of town. She's at the Illinois State Competition for um, speech. She is one of like, I think three kids from her school that actually advanced. So we will find out today if she's bringing home a trophy, but she's not too far away. She's a couple hours away, but that's a big deal for me, especially because it was like kind of crappy weather. So <sighs> prayers for our girl. And um, yeah, so we're going to do, the, and then Becky and Sophie are having like a Galentine's Day with their friends over today. So today we have high carb. I'm going to show you that. And today's also going to be, um, it's our lighter shoulder day. I have two upper body days a week. Um, and then on the slight shoulder day, um, I also have a glute pump that I do in the basement and then I do my cardio. So how my training schedule works right now is I have two upper body days, a back day, and then, um, two leg days, but mostly all my, all my workouts except for the full shoulder day have some kind of glute work into it just because I'm very bottom heavy and my glutes and my legs need the most work. My shoulders um, respond very, very well. Um, my arms are pretty lean. Um, I never carried a lot of weight up here. So that's why, and even in my waist, it's very small. Like um, I'm gonna drop, I'll show you guys what my waist looks like in real time. I have you guys on a coffee mug because I'm ghetto like that. But um, I don't have a bra on, so. He's moaning out. So here is kind of what we're looking like in real time. So you guys can see I have my waist up here is really small. I am a really petite person. I'm the petite girl out of that petite, but my waist is truly small. So I don't carry a lot of weight right here. I never did. Um, this part is where we struggle. So here is the loose skin. Um, the reason why it's not completely concaved is because I have a four degree separation of my muscles. So there's nothing like my internal girdle is like completely open. So even I can't suck this part in. So this is going to have to be surgically repaired one day from now, but we're looking pretty good. Right? All right. Okay. Put the belt back. Anyways, you just see me have my coffee. I got up really early today. Leo left at four and I've been up with him. So we're probably going to have an iced coffee as well. But anyways, carb day. We get to have a bagel. So uh, we're going to do, I'll tell you right now what our high carb day looks like. We're going to get, I'm going to have a protein coffee because I need it. 
Um, we're going to have a, we can do two English muffins or a bagel. I'm going to do one bagel. I'm um, going to add some sugar-free jam with 10 grams of peanut butter. We're going to do some mixed berries and a cup of fruit. Also, I did my nails yesterday myself. I hand-painted that French, hand-painted it. It doesn't look too bad, right? Except this one's crooked as shit. This one's... <laughs> What what did I do? <sighs> Look at that. I literally, <sighs> you know what though? I'm not gonna lie. I've had some crooked ass nails come out the nail salon and I paid a ton. So it did take me a little bit of time, especially to paint my non-dominant hand, but I feel like, aside from the crooked ones, I feel like I did pretty good. What do you guys think? Not too bad, right? Right? I'm pretty proud of myself. So Yesterday was a self-care day, and I, 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 I love self-care days, but I like them in small doses. I could do, like, a self-care week and take, like, half an hour out of each day for myself, but when I have to sit down and, like, focus on myself, it's really... So yesterday, these nails took me, like, two hours just trying to paint them, and then um, I dyed my roots, and then I had to wash my hair, and it was just one of those days. So anyways, breakfast time! Okay, gotta get assemble all the goodies here. So again, we got our Starbucks cup. You guys know I bought the little ball ice tray that everybody's using. You know, I bought this because I like my water to be really cold and it helps me get my water in, right? So I gotta have like a ton of water. And I don't mind that, I don't mind that. Um, but who knew that my kids really loved ice until they used it all and they don't refill it because they're rude. But um, we're using the Premier Protein Caram... Oh, Ray is up and getting ready. Let's text her and tell her to have a good day. Keep me updated. You guys, let's, let me show you what she looked like at her thing. This was her at the state competition. Look at my girl. They had a parade and everything for her. Um, we're doing Premier Protein. I do half because a whole Premier Protein is 30 and I really only need uh, 20 grams. So I come in a little bit under, but it's okay. And then cold brew is this one because it's the cheapest. I really don't give a crap what flavor. As long as it's unsweetened. Make sure it's unsweetened, guys. Don't be getting these sweetened coffee drinks because that's pure sugar. You guys gotta, if you guys are struggling with the scale and all that stuff, you guys gotta wash these these little things because um, your coffee drinks, your creamer. Man, I caught my mom the other day. She's talking about, I don't know, man, can you get any weight bigs? I just, I'm not even drinking any of my coffee. So I asked her, I'm like, well, are you weighing out your, my mom drinks like two pots of coffee a day. She's like, real with it. And she's like, yeah, I only put like a tablespoon so I, I went over there and I'm like, all right, here's a, she has a food scale that I got her. And I told her, I'm like, all right, pull it out and let's uh, just put, put it on there. I said, don't just be, pour it like you generally would. When I tell you, my mom was putting 130 grams of half and half into her coffee. I was like, and she's having multiple cups a day. That adds up quick. So there you go. All right. So sorry about that chatty this this morning um this is 100 grams of blueberries i could have done any berries but i prefer blueberries we have blackberries in there but there's way too many seeds and that kind of messes up with my stomach and strawberries i don't know they're just not my favorite blueberries for me are numero uno i like raspberries too but blueberries for me are always at top if you guys like berries which ones are your favorite then we have a bagel with 10 grams of peanut butter and then a little bit of sugar-free strawberry preserves and then i have one cup of the no sugar added peach peaches yeah and then don't forget protein coffee so this is our first meal so we're gonna have six so oh my goodness let's do it like this this is one of six i know it doesn't look appetizing but it's gonna hit so good and we're gonna have so many good meals today anyways, you guys are gonna be shook. But we're gonna jump into this and I'm gonna have my coffee and we're gonna work out today. So 
let's get ready for this full day and I'll see you on the next one or the next meal. Another workout in the basement. You guys, I shared a shorts. I think that's, yep, that's what they call them on here. Reels. I have a TikTok on it too, but this is my new um, workout bag. It is from the brand Wolfpack. This was actually a gift from my parents for my birthday. I love this because you can put on like different patches. I'm going to get some more. Leo said I should get one that says like my IG handle and stuff, but I love it. It has so many compartments and Leo's like, what the hell do you need to bring to the gym? But I bring everything. Um, and here I have like all my different gloves. And then in this top one, I have like a perfume. I have a hair clip, my earbuds, chapstick, and a lock. I don't ever, I always carry my gym bag around with me, but if I wanted to put in a locker, I could. And then in this one, this is the middle one. I'm not going to lie, guys, this bag was $100, but it's super good quality. Um, I have my ankle straps, and then I think I have this, which I need. This is my X-Band. It's a big one. I bought this at a Fit Expo years and years ago, but it's really, really good. We're going to use that today because we're going to do some mobility before we actually start working out. And then back here, I have my weight belt. I have my knee. So these are my knee guards. Super important, guys. Always protect your knees because you don't want to be like me. I have my weight belt down here. It is the Gym Reapers one. And I got this off of Amazon really helps with your form and making sure you don't put a lot of stress in your lower back and then in here I have my resistance bands and then this is my bar cover um, I could probably fit it in there but I feel like it makes it a little bit bulky and I only bring this to the gym twice a week so on these I don't need it I just take it out and leave it in the back seat but yeah so I'm gonna start doing that but we do get to have Rice Krispie Treat. So that's probably about working out is a Rice Krispie Treat. So yeah, so we're going to do that. I'm going to listen to some music and get this day started. We're working out by the fireplace today. Let me show you my gym outfit. Right, so here is my, I hope you guys can see, these are some rider wear leggings. I got these a couple, I think two years ago. They're a little big on my waist now, but they're pretty nice. Nice and thick, like you can see, but I'll probably end up giving these to my aunt. But it does come with a matching top, and then I just have a long line sports bra. All my sports bras are from Amazon. I've been giving you the wish. Now you wanna stay tonight. Pretty how you wear a car for me. Why forgetting how to talk? Nah, I don't like no humble beats. Just go and slice it up. Now it's time to marry. finished it my buns are on fire my buns are on fire I also I did mention a few weeks ago that I wanted to um, give out like I could figure out like workout routines you guys were still interested I'm gonna start composing them I want to come out with two but I don't want to release them both at the same time I think I want to do like an at home like a three day a week workout where it's like upper lower and then total body and then um if you guys like that then we can move on to more in depth but i think if just starting out i would do like three days because i feel like not everybody not everybody does what i do not everybody wants to work out as much as i do um but i feel like if you're just starting i feel like three days a week at home like an upper a lower and then a total body workout with some cardio in there i think would be really really great there is going to be, it is going to require cardio. Cardio is just a necessary evil. So let me know down below. I'm sitting right here. Um, the male's here. If you could hear the dog going crazy. I got to get up. I'll be back. Starting on meal number two. I'm going to eat really quickly. I had a little too much caffeine, so I have a little bit of a headache. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So we are going to do um, 
some potatoes. These are the like shredded potatoes. They come in a bag. 150 grams. We're gonna have some turkey bacon, some eggs, and an avocado. Yes, for this. This is one of my favorite breakfasts to have because it very much gives me like um what do you call that? Like diner breakfast, you know? So yeah, we're gonna get these nice and crispy and then get to eating. But I'll show you when it's all done. But I have this seasoned with the Friday seasoning. I'm almost out. Like this stuff is really good. So get those cooked up. Get the turkey bacon going. Good breakfast in the mix. All right, we have three teenagers and two nine-year-old kids in the house right now. So it's gonna get a little, a little loud, but I'm making them pizzas. The girls are having their little Galentine's Day, but no, no word on Rhea yet, but I'll keep you guys updated. I don't know why they scream like that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and that's Sophie. Sophie screaming like that. I don't know why she does that, but this is going to be meal number three. Right now I have just some cucumbers. Um, I could eat as many cucumbers, pickles as I want. Um, that's why I always have so much on hand because it's a nice snack for me. We have four ounces of boneless, skinless chicken thigh and 40 grams of avocado. So this is going to be our like little afternoon snack, I suppose. Um, I could have also done like a protein coffee or a protein drink with like peanut butter instead, but I opted for this because I'm a little hungry today. So yes, this is meal number three of six. Here's your reminder not to forget to clean your makeup brushes. Look at this. this is, I'm going to be here forever. I got to go get my BB blenders too, but they need it. But it is what it is. Clean your makeup brushes. So we are getting ready for meal number four. Yeah, four. And it's our fattier choice of protein, right? So we could do steak. Um... Salmon, I forget what my other option is for. Let me look it up. I can't think. Um, I did get an update on Rhea. She did not make it to the next round. So she's she, her season is done, but she did really good. We're really proud. We're just not going to, you know, we're just not going to talk about it anymore. <laughs> so um, I get beef, lean steak, or salmon. Um, so I can do ground beef, steak, or salmon, basically. And um, I opted for salmon because I have a bag of it, like a frozen bag. And I'm just going to pan sear it. And I made it with the same chili lime seasoning you would have seen in the meal prep video. It's pretty good. I mean, it's all right, I guess. It doesn't really taste like it's salt, pepper, salt, red bell pepper, salt, red bell pepper, chili, um, paprika, parsley, onion, coriander, black pepper, lemongrass, lemon peel. Yeah, it does have a nice little flavor to it and then I'm gonna pan sear it and get it nice and crispy and I'm gonna squeeze some lime juice on it. I did cook up another pan of jasmine rice. I only cook up one cup at a time because it's so easy to make up and I just prefer to cook it kind of fresh. And then I'm gonna squeeze some lime and salt on there as well. And in my head, I'm thinking of doing kind of like a salmon bowl. Salmon, rice, cucumbers, some kimchi, and um yeah i don't have any avocado for this meal but if you wanted to and you had it add some avocado in there and even some seaweed wraps Ooh, honey so good it's like a egg no what do you call it sushi in a bowl sushi bowl salmon bowls whatever but yeah so we're gonna do that here is that salmon bowl so right here we have i want to show you like get in there real good look at that and that crust look beautiful so it's just uh, four ounces of salmon. I got a whole bunch of cucumber. Um, and then we have 80 grams of jasmine rice. And I put a little bit of lime and salt on there. And then we are going to have some G. Hughes sweet chili sauce. I love this stuff. It's good. It gives a good flavor. I love it. It's truly my favorite. Also, I need to add some green beans. I'm going to have some green beans. I would have had asparagus that I made the other day, but honey, we ate that all. It was so good. So yeah, let me get some um, green beans and toss this on here. I'll get 100 grams of those, but this is so good. And if you have the space in your like meal for a little bit of extra fat, throw in some avocado. Mm, so, so good. And if you like, if you haven't tried those seaweed like snacks, they're actually very, very good, guys. 
don't knock them until you try them. I thought they were going to be disgusting, but honestly, they're so, so good. But yeah, so this is meal number four, minus the green beans. I'm going to go get those real quick, and we're going to go ahead and dive on in. If you guys haven't tried this sauce, try it. We are back in it for meal number five. So remember, this is high carb day, so I get two of them a week right now. It might change tomorrow, who knows, but for right now, we're doing five days low carb, two days high carb, and this is high carb. So this is meal number five on our high carb day. 100 grams of pasta, four ounces of boneless skinless chicken, or chicken thigh, and then 40 grams of avocado. And then I put a little bit of fresh lemon juice on there, just squeeze some lemon, and I top it with a little bit of parm, and it is so good. It's literally like, kind of tastes like, um, just like eating out in an Italian restaurant. You know what I mean? Um, really, really good. And it's my favorite. I could eat this like for every meal. It's my favorite one. So I look forward to having this today. So this, my friends, is meal number five. And I'll see you back for our final meal. And we are back for our final meal. This is 20 grams of oatmeal with the other half of the um, Premier Protein Shake, so I didn't add any other liquid. And then this is one cup of frozen wild blueberries. And then I put a dollop of the sugar-free preserves and a little bit of... <laughs> oh my God, every time I film. Um, a little bit of this syrup. So on this, on my like high carb days, my fat, if you notice, is lower. So I don't get... Um, all that like the extra peanut butter with this meal so when my carbs are higher my fat is lower um, protein stays relatively the same so if you notice on my high carb days I get higher carbs lower fats same protein my protein is moderate low carb days I get um, lower carbs higher fat protein stays moderate so um, yeah this is another full day of eating I'm gonna go ahead and have this it's about seven o'clock right now Rhea is supposed to be back. We have to go pick her up around midnight, supposedly. So, um, yeah, she did not place, unfortunately, but she's enjoying it, and she went really far. So we're real proud of our girl, and I'll be even prouder when she'll be home in, in my house, and I can actually get a good night's rest, because I haven't slept for a few days, because, you know, the world is crazy. My baby's out there in the street. So I will see you guys on the next one. Yeah, I'm out of here. Bye, guys. I've been giving you the worst